Welcome fellow travelers. Today we're on a quest to find the mythical creatures that have been appearing in Robert Burnaby Park in Burnaby, British Columbia. Let's go and explore. Over the past few weeks, Vancouver's social media has exploded with news of giant sculptures of mythical creatures appearing in Robert Burnaby Park. Local artist Nikki Lewis has quietly been installing her impressive works of art, which are created almost entirely of natural materials like sticks and twine. Visitors to the park have spotted several of these natural sculptures. This larger than life creature is the gentle giant, Mr. Troll. And Lilith, the sleeping fairy. This dragon's name is Emerald, who's watching carefully over her nest of dragon's eggs. And the forest water spirit, a mermaid, leaning gently against a tree at the side of the creek. Just a bit further downstream, grazing beside the water, is Echo the Non-Binary Unicorn. And of course you can recognize Chewie, the famous Wookiee from Star Wars. Dedicated to Jamie, a kind and gentle soul. Lewis is the co-owner of The Wizard's Makery, a home-based business that specializes in the creation of one-of-a-kind custom artworks. You can purchase smaller pieces from The Wizard's Makery, like woven owls, fairies, or hearts, or you can commission them to create larger, one-of-a-kind pieces. They also support local charities and encourage donations to Anxiety Canada. Throughout COVID, Nikki has been spending several hours each day in the park installing her pieces. Her works of art have brought joy to young and old and have even been recognized with accommodation from Burnaby MLA Raj Chohan. He states, your artwork has made the Robert Burnaby Park so much more enjoyable and beautiful. Thank you for the positive and creative contributions you have made to our community. Despite recent recognition, Lewis says that she isn't done creating yet and that she plans to make more pieces to be installed at other local parks including Confederation Park and Burn Creek Park. The increased social media coverage has allowed a lot more people to enjoy Lewis's creations, as you can see by these hundreds of muddy footprints left in the area. But if you do go to visit them, please be careful and respectful of the artwork. Lewis notes that she's seen a couple of her smaller pieces vanish and others have been damaged. In our recent visit, we noticed that even one of the bigger creations, the Guardian, has suffered an unfortunate fate. But I for one hope that we can enjoy these magical creatures for a long time yet to come. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And remember to stay tuned because we're going to head off on another adventure soon. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.